Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the fourth episode of American Horror Story season 11. I just watched the third one and I just want some answers right now. So I just immediately continued with this one. Um, I just want to know what's going on at this point. Also, uh, before I start, I want to tell you that you can see all of my American Horror Story reactions uncut on my Patreon. So check out the link in the description if you're interested. And now... Let's just watch it. Oh shit, I forgot to turn on the sound. But Gino was um, captured. I feel like he's gonna get out though. I mean, his boyfriend is looking for him, right? Even though, like, who would think like, hey, maybe he's in the morgue in like a freezer. This is so fucked. If he locks him up too now, or kills him or whatever, then Gino is never gonna get out. Oh my god. Someone has to like walk in there sometime, right? Before he freezes to death. Why doesn't that guy just leave? Seriously. What's your game? Oh, that goes pretty fast. I didn't think it would go that fast. They should have never split up. What? What was the monster sound? How the fuck did he know? Did he just feel that he was in there? I'm confused. Where the fuck did you get freeze? Think you got this from me, Patrick? Yes, I absolutely got it. I did not survive yesterday for this. You survived twice now, Jesus. Seven people died in that fire. And he's and working again. Maybe we should set some fires of our own until something is done about it. By Cranston Short. Is she just singing there alone? Oh, that's not her. Oh, he's in, in like, um, in person. Pretty good. Closet, don't be late. <laughs> she just needs a second face. her for if she wants a day off. Something strange is happening to this community. To yes. Our community, to now give me answers. I am a concerned business owner and I am bothered that no one is investigating these disappearances. I say to the police who service this area. Slow more. down, he's writing. How much? Why are we way over here in the night precinct? I feel like he's the only one who's kind of doing something and he's also not doing like everything he can because then they would suspect something. And like of course he doesn't have the manpower who want to help him then. I didn't do that to The fuck are you doing? You said it's my friend. Get your fucking hands off me. I didn't do that to him. What the hell? Another dead one? I'll take as many breaths as you can right now, boys. It's worse. Aww. Little kitty, now he escaped. What the fuck happened? I don't want to see this. Oh, that's him. Oh, fucking hell. It's been a while now, a few days, but the heat's not making this any easier. Decomposing fast. Hey, guys, that man you arrested at the open window, but uh, he's not a suspect. Pretty confident he wouldn't beat a man to death. Yeah, that's the guy who uh, was in the case, right? Crying with passion. Very funny. Autopsy? Uh, Two weeks. Okay, we wait. We wait. Yeah, and I more people can die in that there. in that time. Cat out there in the hallway? Ran out of food. I'm not sure about everything else, but... Uh, but there was another guy in the apartment, right? Yeah, we might have another guy. Honestly, how many people have died by now? It is so much. Do something. Jesus. What the fuck happens here? There's a fire at the Ascension farm. I'm checking to see if I can taste any water here. Dude, he just got burned. Sam, get off. What the fuck? You cannot treat me like that. You know that there's a kid running around out there saying that you held them captive? We let each other fuck whoever we want to, and now you're gonna make me feel like it's disgusting? Because you have gone over the edge! You are dark! Because I really think he killed Big Daddy. Shit. I'm a collector, I like pretty things. You don't? 
I'm not simple. He's not even listening to him. I've got a chance at something good. With someone good. Does he really think everything is a game? You're scaring me. Yeah. You think I might kill you one day? Yeah, I think you've got it in you. Turn me Career over gallery? I mean, you could just like, I don't know, reflect on your behavior for once instead of thinking everything is just yours and you can do with people what you want. I'm fucking sick of everybody telling me to calm down, to not cause a panic. We're being picked off one by one. Why isn't every gay man in the city scared shitless? No one cares. Yeah. I care. When the fuck are you gonna step up? I get what he Stop means. Stop treating this. But you're dead. It's too late. Someone targeting him now? Why is he always so sweaty? Like, all the characters are for some reason. Is it just like a vibe? Is it because they're sick? I think it's like the vibe they want. Sam is no good for me. I wanted to apologize to you. I was so arrogant. I think that's what Sam's Sam. influence does to you. And I know it's way too hot for all this. I just needed to show up. Oh, yeah, there was a heat going I on. I tell you that, before I come up the water. Yes. I already liked him, but I feel like he instantly becomes a more likable character now that he's uh, gone from Sam, I mean. I feel like he's one of the guys who doesn't just hook up with anyone, so I feel like this might be more serious and way less toxic than with Sam. I also feel like Sam is gonna come after them now because he's not used to losing things or people. Cute together. Is Sam behind this? I don't know at this point anymore. There are so many people dying and so many people killing, and I don't know what's going on. It's dark in there, so now it's gonna get scary. Oh, never mind. I thought finally a scary scene, but nah. What I need, detective? He is in charge there? That, that asshole? That guy, this nosy prick, Gino Borelli. He keeps writing about our every move. Someone at the station is sharing secrets with some newspaper for Quiz. I wish I could help you, sir. You have any idea who it could be? Are you accusing me of something? Oh, yeah. Captain Azar. I am a gay policeman. Oh. Nothing about who I am. Okay. Is this going on in the whole town now? Okay, he finally came out with her. What the hell are you? You shouldn't have to go through what I've been through. This is really bold. What a patch of work. What is she trying? Is she trying to break them up or something? Because I don't believe she's actually doing this into his, in his interest. Very serious. There was there was a masked man in leather running around Central Park assaulting people. Isn't that what you wrote about? Please go home. It's to drive a wedge between Patrick and me. This is not a secret. I'll just call the police because I'm sure the boys at the station will be very curious to know what Patrick gets up to on his days off. All right, you're harassing us. Fuck. I don't even know what I think anymore. I, mean, I don't even know if I think Patrick's a killer. But I do know She I really thinks it's Patrick? Ask him to tell you the truth. I mean, the guy doesn't look anything like Patrick. Like, his body is way bigger. I don't know. I th still think Patrick is a little fake. But would he really kill people? I feel like he's quite a dedicated officer or detective, so... That's him. Very true. Good luck finding me in the dark park, detective. Is he gonna go there now? Alone, probably. At least take some man. Where are we going? Okay. Get in. No. He is not. Dude, why? Seriously, why? Why would you do that? Yeah, same. I know I wanted to get in the way, so you'll understand my suit. I mean, you 
I don't think he's, they're gonna let you out, are they? He's really just a jealous ex. And now he's trying to threaten him. Like, was that supposed to scare him? And now we went alone after all. Oh! Okay, at least we know Patrick had nothing to do with it. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but Leslie Grossman made me doubt my own thoughts. I honestly think Sam killed him and that he's a ghost. I'm still sticking with that theory. Also because he's always in front of his door. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering, what happens if you shoot him? So, are they working together now? Give me something, Jesus. Oh, is that the guy they let go? Wake up! I mean, when else? Huh. I'm also just wondering, like, is this about them being sick or about them being murdered? Or is that also connected? Like, we still don't know anything. Jesus fucking Christ. Aw, he's so proud. Gino, don't be like that. That was a big thing for him. I didn't tell him everything, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. What's this pressure? It's yours. You know it. Is it, Boy, though? Since you're in a truth-telling mode. Come out to me. Honestly, I feel like he's just really struggling with, his, tell with himself. Tell me all of it. And Gino is being kind of a dick about it. I get him, though. He wants, just wants the truth. But at the same time, he's just struggling so hard. But Gino shouldn't be like the victim of that. This is another case of I understand both sides and I don't know. I've been with other guys. Ever where we sleep. Ever. Okay. It'll stop. It's not worse than Yes, it will. No. I actually care if you're out there getting laid. I can do the same. We can have a shared agreement. But no, you don't want that. The lie that actually gets you off. And you love that lie yeah, more than you can love me. That is simply not true. Because it was also the thing with the letter. I, it was more exciting to him that it was a secret or something. I don't know if it's the same with this thing. Though. I came out in the New York police department. But why? Why, Patrick? Damn it, must like It's choking me. Choking me. This scene is intense. Is he? Okay, does he... Is there something with his heart? What the fuck? Uh... Do you want to be the next victim? I feel like this fight was so unnecessary because he really let his ex-wife just get to his head, I think. When you were out, I found an enlarged lymph node in one of your armpits. I, I have to ask, do you live with any cats? The hallmarks of cat scratch fever. I mean, they did have a lot of cats at the one place, one. but like. Oh. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. You're in an elevator with the killer. Uh -oh. Why does, does the power the keep going down everywhere? Is he doing that as well? How do you do that over the whole town? Oh, I would go crazy. <laughs> They're gonna end up dead in an elevator. Oh, you're smelling my groceries. 
I buy me that's maybe a day or two past expiration. This is Jeffrey Dahmer shit. I'm sorry. I lied to you. I don't know why I did that. I hate to lie. Is the body part. Especially since you know what's in my bag. I mean, that was a good ending, and now I want to keep watching. But I'm also like, we still don't know anything. It's really frustrating, and I don't really know what to think of it. I'm just like, it is interesting to me because I want to know what's going on, but they're also not giving off anything, and I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but that is literally the only thing I have to say about it because nothing else is really happening. I honestly think this might be the first American Horror Story season where I'm like, this is not my thing. Like at the beginning I was still really intrigued and I'm still, I like really want to find out what's going on, but the way it's written, I'm just like, it's like a thing that you should at least give something every episode, right? Like oh, even if it's just a small thing. And I mean, we already knew it was that guy. We already knew Big Daddy was out there. We still don't know anything about him either. We already knew that Sam was toxic as fuck. So I feel like we just learned nothing new. And um, what was his name? Patrick's ex-wife. She came in with the mask. It was kind of the exact same thing she did in the first two episodes. And then Adam confronted him again. Now he's in the hospital. I feel like this is the third time he almost died, but did it in the end. I feel like they're kind of repeating themselves and um, I feel like there's not a lot of new stuff they're giving us. So honestly, I'm not too excited about this. I really have to see about the next episodes. Like at the previous episode, I was still like, okay, I'm just immediately gonna watch the next one. Maybe we'll get some more into that because I mean, we had some interesting parts, but nothing new for my feeling. It's kind of like everything we saw, we already knew. So yeah, I just really hope there's gonna be more in the next few episodes. I'm curious to know what you guys think though, because um, I see a lot of mixed feelings about this season. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying like, it's boring as hell. Other people are like, okay, this is a really good subject. I think I'm kind of in between. As in, I gotta say sometimes it is kind of boring, mostly because they're just repeating themselves for my feeling. Uh, at the same time, I am in intrigued to find out what's going, like what's happening. So I, I have mixed feelings. I don't know. Like I said, just let me know what you guys think. I'm curious about that. Yeah, for the rest, like I said, if you want to see my full reaction to the episodes, you can check out my Patreon. I'm also reacting to The Walking Dead. You can find um, early access to that as well. I'm just like, is there something I am forgetting right now? Because I feel like this review is so short. Normally it's way longer, but honestly, I feel like if I'm gonna give a review right now about the things that happened, then I'm just gonna give the exact same review that I gave last week. So I think that was it. <laughs> so if you like my reaction, then uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye.